This is Ryan here at Sector 111. Uh, we had a customer request to do a starting procedure that did not involve a key, so this is how we did it. So what we have here is an 06 Elise spec race car that's been converted mostly into a complete and total race car. All right, let me take this steering wheel out of the way here so we can see a little better. Okay, so behind the column shrouding and whatnot, you'll find all of the pieces of the various steering column mechanisms. And right down here inside of this uh, black connector is where the wires for the ignition switch used to reside. So you see the key uh, enters over here, run, rotates a little barrel through here, and that's what triggers the various positions of the ignition switch. So what we did was we removed those wires from that connection system inside of there, uh, ran them back up through here through a passageway that's inside of here. Uh, behind these panels and then over to the switch panels that came factory with the car. Um, we added a relay in there that basically says or takes the switching input of the driving light which is a latching switch with LED feedback and we use that to trigger what is now an ignition relay. So if if you ever do this you need to make sure you have enough relay to carry to handle the current load of the wires that you're jumping. Since this is an Elise race car there's not a whole lot of electrical load we were able to get away with a single 60 amp relay on this. So the way the system works now and it's all tucked back up in there and everything's integrated in is you simply push the button that turns on the car you get an LED feedback as well as the cluster lights and whatnot and you can hit start whenever you want. Uh, car idle up here. And then to turn the car off you just click the button off. Simple as that. So the final piece of this uh, transformation to a keyless vehicle, a uh, nice simple easy way to do it is you take one of the spare keys for the vehicle and you just put it up on a bandsaw and you cut it right here where the metal meets this plastic trim. And then that will allow you to insert it back into the key slot here, take a pair of needle nose pliers, uh, grip it and rotate the key forward and just leave it in the key forward position. Uh, that will help bypass the, that will bypass the column lock mechanism within the steering column so you can steer the vehicle without it. And since it will be cut off at that time you don't have to worry about it falling out or anybody uh, hitting it with their knee or anything like that. And it's okay to leave it like that forever because you've already bypassed the ignition with the fog lamp switch. So again, for those of you out there with a track-only Elise or Exige, that's one simple way, uh, if you're a little familiar with wiring, to bypass the key completely so you don't have to worry about losing them.